Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. And Fourteen Tomcat build in action. Okay guys. I got them turbines mounted in there. And both of them. And they are screwed in and installed. Okay. I like the way these straps ended up. Got one towards the front, one towards the back. There's no wobbleness to it. All them aluminum mounts that go in one place, you know, you can take them and tilt the turbine back and forth. I like the way them are set up. Only thing, these exhaust temperature deals are not very long, okay? Uh, I was going to put my ECUs up front, but I think I changed my mind. I'm going to put them back here. I found a, they fit perfectly, just perfect. I can do this on the camera. But these ECUs fit perfectly. Everything out of the way, right here. Okay, I'll set them on top of that duct. Okay. And there's even a place to slide to put my extra wires. I can slide them right at, see that gap right there? I could slide my extra wires on both sides of them. And that's kind of like a sealed chamber down there. It won't go through to, to the turbine. So I can tuck my extra wires down in there and uh, you know, all this extra stuff here. And just go right down in there and I'm done. And, make it look real clean and neat but that's what's going on there I'm trying to get these turbines all hooked up today uh, still waiting on my servos they should be here any day what's today what is today Thursday or Friday no they should be here any day no. so I'm gonna get these turbines totally installed today and uh, then all that's left is uh, hooking up some fuel tanks and uh, my radio. But uh, man, this AM, these AMTs are just rugged old servo turbines, man. There's a fuel pump. It's just monstrous. But I like this setup. Fuel, big fuel line going in, small coming out. So I won't need to get one of them reducers, you know, because you always got big fuel line coming from your uh, uh, air trap, you know. You just plug that big fuel line into there and then the small fuel line comes out. Real nice solenoids, I kinda like these solenoids. I've never had an AMT turbine before, but uh, everything looks really rugged, heavy duty. Then we got some nice straps here for these fuel pumps. These go, whoop, we dropped one. These little straps here go right around there on that tape and put them bad boys right down. Now, yeah, I know what you're saying. Where am I going to put these big old things? I think I'm going to stick them right in these cheeks. Okay. Seems to be plenty of room on top in them cheeks. See on top of that duct right there. I can just uh, glue me a little board on top of that duct, or I could put them way up in there. That might be a better place, way up in there. Put them a little bit closer to the fuel can, or the fuel jugs, I really don't think that matters. But there's no place back here for them, and I need to get, they're kind of, Kind of chunky, so I need to put them as far forward as I can. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I can. If they're long enough, I could put these. Where well, I was going to put my ECUs, actually. Get these as far forward as I can. Yeah, 
I'm going to put them up there. I need to get them as far forward as I can. They're kind of chunky. I'd rather have they weigh more than them ECUs. So let's get them as far forward as we can. Let's put them bad boys right there. Bam. Bam. Yeah. I like that. Okay. I gotta go over to my buddy's house this morning and get some fuel on. I don't have no small fuel on. I have some big fuel on, but no small. See this other ECU go right there on the other side. Yeah, I just got all this to deal with. Just got all these wires to deal with. That's alright, we'll get her. We'll get her done. No one said it was going to be easy, right? But I had a couple questions about uh, these turbines being that close to that wood. No, it's fine, man. That's all that's all that's needed. This part won't get too hot. <coughs> you know, it gets warm, but not enough to catch no wood on fire. And also someone was saying about, you know, air going around these engines, okay? Remember, there's a gap in between my, uh, my uh, exhaust tube and this engine, okay? It'll be about that wide. Anytime air blows across the open area, what does it do? It creates a vacuum. So it actually will suck air around that turbine and keep it cool. Shoot, my uh, F-16, that, that front duct is a, half that size. And I got that turbine almost right up against it. I don't have no uh, heat in this use with that P200. Got to wait for a trip on it. But that's where I'm at. As soon as I get back from my buddies, I'm going to get busy hooking these things up. And we'll make some videos. I might even throw you an HD one. I was going to last night. But I turned it on and the battery was dead. So i got it charging now. But that's where I'm at. I kind of like that spot for them ECUs. I kind of like them being right there. They don't weigh very much, so it ain't worth the hassle of getting extension cords and moving them. If I can get them fuel pumps way up there, that's good to go. But other than that, that is where I'm at. I done check this to make sure everything clears fine. And they do. Make sure I had to make sure they cleared that engine. Bam. They're fine. They're good to go. And um, that's where I'm at. I just got to get them bad boys hooked up today and get ready for my servos because they should be here today, tomorrow. And then we're going to get all them hooked up. Bam! Before you know it, we're going to be taxi testing the Tomcat in the street. <laughs> so. Tell them people that's about all I got for you. I got to get on out of here and get to my buddy so I can get back and get to work. So, I'm going to load this video and I'll be back. Some more Bob TV. Might even hit you with the HD. Bob TV. So, see you back in the shop. Same Bob time, same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama-free zone.